Welcome back to Political News in Full. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi held a joint press conference with President of the EU Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, on Wednesday. In his statements, President Sisi said the talks tackled means of boosting cooperation between Egypt and the European Union in various fields, mainly energy. The President said that the meeting discussed means of facing repercussions of climate change and focused on several international files, including Ukrainian crisis and world economic challenges. LCC reiterated that they also agreed on continuing consultations over facing terrorism and the illegal migration. Meanwhile, von der Leyen said the talks uh, touched ways of enhancing local food production amid world food crisis and affirmed that the EU will provide Egypt more than $100 million to solve the issue. She also stressed keenness on bolstering relations between Egypt and the EU in several domains uh, during the coming period. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on Wednesday met with United Arab Emirates Armed Forces Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Hamad Mohammed Taini al rumaitli During the meeting, President Sisi extended greetings to United Arab Emirates President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, asserting the deeply rooted relations linking Egypt and the UAE, which the President said are a cornerstone for stability in the Middle East and the Arab world. For his part, the visiting Emirati official asserted keen interest on boosting bilateral strategic cooperation, notably in the military and security-wise fields. The meeting emphasized the need to continue joint coordination between Egypt and the United Arab Emirates over regional and international issues in a way that serves the interests of both countries and their peoples and that boosts pan-Arab solidarity. The meeting was attended by Minister of Defense and Military Production, Lieutenant General Mohammed Zaki, as well as UAE Ambassador to Cairo, Mariam al kabi Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli held on Wednesday a press conference following Cabinet weekly meeting. Madbouli said that the meeting tackled several economic files, including food security, which he asserted is one of the state's top priorities. Madbouli reiterated that the state seeks easing burdens on citizens amid economic world crisis, as President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi directed to postpone the increase in prices of some products for six months. He added that the state has not increased the solar prices like many other countries, despite hike in prices in global energy markets. The Premier also stressed keenness on increasing local production of wheat during the coming period. Meanwhile, the Cabinet's meeting touched preparations of Eid al-Adha. Under the auspices of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, the 8th edition of the Global Conference of Young Parliamentarians kicked off in Sharm el-Sheikh on Wednesday. In his speech before the attendees, uh, Parliament Speaker Hanafi al welcomed the participants and stressed the significance of the conference in enhancing new generations for the political life. Gibeli reiterated that young people have to be involved in facing the current world challenges and crisis. He asserted President Sisi's keenness on supporting youth empowerment in all domains within the framework of Egypt's national ambitious vision. The conference aims at consolidating cooperation and parliamentary relations among the participating countries during the coming period. Russia said Wednesday